always wanted to know which dog breed is perfect for you, but also for how you live, who you live with. Are you perfect for a certain breed? Let's find out together in this video. Hi, I'm veterinarian Neil Schreiber. I help cat and dog owners avoid sun sickness and high medical bills without the long waiting times and stress. And so Dr. Google doesn't give you a heart attack. I have a big announcement or more of a surprise at the end of this video. So keep watching. Getting a new dog, either as a puppy or adopted from a shelter, needs more thinking than just you liking the way that it looks. It's so pretty. I've seen a lot of health and behavioral problems just from making this common mistake. Not all pretty dogs have the best character. I'll break this video up into seven short chapters to walk you through things to consider when choosing your new best friend. But before I do, let me introduce you to my new book, Choose Your Pet Like a Vet, which helps you do just that and so much more. You can find a link in the description below to get yourself one. Chapter 1. Character. So you need to take a look at your own character for this. Are you more lively? Do you have a lot of energy? Do you like to go outside? Are these things that this breed you're looking at also has? Because otherwise you will clash and you will not be a good combination. Chapter 2. Behavior. Do you have children? Or are you thinking about getting children? Do you bring a lot of people around your house? Is it always busy? Or are you more of a loner or very quiet? Not every dog is fit for every situation. Be careful, there are some general behaviors per breed. Every dog can differ a little bit individually as well. You also need to make sure that your dog can live in the space that you have. Not every dog fits well in an apartment without a garden or a small house without a garden or maybe you have a medium house with a medium garden or a big house with a big garden make sure that your dog will be happy there chapter 3 care how much time and energy do you feel like you can put into the care of your dog? Are you more someone who's like, I really don't have time or I don't feel like brushing a lot or cleaning up your house a lot because a lot of hair? Or are you more someone like, I really don't care. I really like the bonding time with my dog. I don't mind brushing it even daily, once or twice a week. I don't mind that. You know what? I can't wait till the end of this video because I'm way too excited about this. I'm gonna tell you right now. A lot of work went into this because I wanted it to be perfect. I created a quiz for you to find out what dog breed would be perfect for you or you would be perfect for this dog breed. You can find a link in the description below. It's my absolute pleasure and it's completely for free. Chapter 4. Education. Not every dog is easily trainable. If you've never owned a dog before, then not every dog breed is gonna be suited for you. Same goes for when you had a dog but you didn't train it yourself. You go for a dog that you don't need experience for. This doesn't mean that you cannot get a big breed because that's not really why you need experience. It really comes down to breed specific reasons. Chapter 5. Exercise. Some dogs don't need a lot of exercise at all, don't really like it, but there are not many of them. And some dogs need a lot of exercise. If you don't give them that exercise, you're gonna get behavioral problems. They're gonna start ruining your stuff. They're gonna start making a lot of noise in the house. Nobody wants that. So make sure you are ready to put in the work if you choose that kind of breed. And then last but not least, chapter seven, life expectancy. Think about it. Do you want a dog that lives pretty long? Because you'll have to take care of this. This is gonna be a forever dog. Please make it a forever dog. So make sure if the dog becomes 10 years or 15 years, that you're okay with that. Also, be sure that you're okay that it's only gonna live about 15 years. Oldest dog I've ever had in my practice was 19 years old. I can also tell you, generally, the smaller the dog, the older it can become. The bigger the dog, the less old it becomes. A small dog is only old from the age of 10 or 11, like really more than senior. Geriatric? Is that how you say it? And a big dog is old, depending on how big, from the age of seven, eight. If you've had any value from this video, please give it a big thumbs up so more people can see it. Let's keep your fur baby happy and healthy together, or your new fur baby, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Needs more thinking over than just the, the way you like it, the like it, the way it looks. To choose your pet, oh. Geriatric. Why can't I pronounce this? Geriatric.
g-reactric.